In the last 50 years, the NFL has evolved from primitive roots that celebrated running plays known as a three yards and a cloud of dust to a contemporary aerial circus in which passing the football is the priority. Quarterbacks have become the rock stars of this modern football universe, and rare is a running back now valued with an early selection in the college draft, less than 5% of recent top 20 picks. But in this month's NFL playoffs, someone forgot to tell the Tennessee Titans and their indomitable running back Derrick Henry that the game revolves around a pass-first mentality. In a twist, Henry's unstoppable, record-breaking rushing performances have not only bucked the prevailing model, they have also catapulted the upstart Titans to back-to-back -to -back upset victories that upended the NFLAS established power structure. Last weekend, the Titans, seated at the bottom of the playoff rankings, rooted the Super Bowl favorite Baltimore Ravens, with Henry running for a whopping 195 yards. A week earlier, Henry had stomped NFL royalty, the New England Patriots, dethroning the defending champions with 182 rushing yards. In the regular season finale, when Tennessee needed a victory to barely squeeze into the playoffs, Henry ran for 211 yards and three touchdowns. Henry is the first player in NFL history to run for more than 180 yards in three consecutive games. On Sunday, he leads the Titans, who will be big underdogs again, against the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship with a Super Bowl berth on the line. Aida's proof that there are still a lot of different ways to win in this league, a Tennessee coach Mike Brabel said. A when you can run the ball very effectively, even when the other team knows you are going to run it a that says a lot to everybody on the field a Tennessee's approach, if now unconventional, is not entirely an outlier. The Ravens featured their own dramatically augmented running attack, setting the NFLAS single-season record with 3,296 rushing yards behind the multidimensional quarterback Lamar Jackson, and won 14 of 16 regular season games. The San Francisco 49 ERS, who host the Green Bay Packers in Sunday AWS NFC Championship, have run the football more often than they have passed it this season. Indeed, of the 16 teams that qualified for the postseason, seven ranked in the top 10 for rushing yards, including the 49 ERS and the Titans, who were second and third. But it is Henry who has been the face of a defiant run first rebellion in an era when the leading offensive scheme is called the air raid. Patriots coach Bill Belichick, after his team was throttled at home by the Titans, was impressed with Henry's ability to dominate without even the slightest bit of pre snap subterfuge, which is a fundamental tenet of 21st century football. Belly Chick, perhaps the greatest defensive coach ever, prides himself on taking away an opponent's chief offensive weapon to compel that team to win with an alternative. The Patriots prepared for a week to stymie Henry who nonetheless battered the Patriots on 34 carries that were a mix of gritty runs up the middle, punishing third down dashes around the end and, most devastating, seven rushes of nine or more yards that exhibited the Plahata's explosiveness. After the game, Belly Chick said, A we knew he was coming. We did not stop him A. Henry, a man of few words, said, A I A V E been doing this since high school, man. Ida s just me a Ida s a fair point at six foot four and two hundred fifty pounds and with breakaway speed, Henry has always been a unique talent, so while NFL teams might be looking to replicate what he does, is it possible a there is no comparable player he s a Marvel Comics superhero, a Brian Baldinger, an analyst for NFL Network who played twelve years in the league as an offensive lineman said Wednesday. Growing up in Florida, Henry was perhaps the best high school running back in history. The national S top recruit, he went to Alabama, where he won the Heisman Trophy. In the 2016 college draft, the Titans waited until the 45th overall pick, the second round, to announce Henry's name. Benched for DeMarco Murray during his first two NFL seasons, Henry made only four starts, and when he received more playing time in 2018, Tennessee was still an aimless offensive unit led by a struggling quarterback, Marcus Mariota. 
Henriya's production was as erratic as Mario Tas, but that changed in mid-October this season when Vrabel, whose team had a 2-4 record, promoted the backup quarterback Ryan Tannehill. In his first start, against the Los Angeles Chargers, Tannehill threw for more than 300 yards. With the Chargers forced to defend the pass, Henry found open running lanes and appeared liberated. By November, during a four-game win streak, the Titans had shifted and made Henry the focus of their offense, running more often than Tannehill passed. The deep pass was still a credible threat, and though used judiciously, it had a significant impact on the outcome of games and on Henry's rushing totals, since it kept opposing defenses honest. Tannehill attempted the second fewest passes per game in the NFL, but gained the tenth most yards per game through the air. The Titans saw passing attack was distinctive, fewer passes but for more effect, as Tannehill's passes traveled an average of 9.7 yards a third longest in the NFL. At the same time, Henry's rushing yards per game during the win streak vaulted to 149.8, and he ended up leading the league in rushing. It helped that Tennessee's massive offensive line, led by Roger Saffold, the top guard in the free agent market signed by the Titans last March, started to play with more cohesion. As some offensive lines shrink to guard against speedy pass rushers, the Titans start five guys who weigh more than 300 pounds, four of whom are around six and a half feet tall. In the postseason, the Titans saw unusual run-pass split has grown even more lopsided a Henry's 64 rushing carries this month dwarf Tannehill's 19 passing attempts, a ratio that is right out of the 1950s. Balance, however, is still a governing principle of a modern proficient offense, so Donna T expect the Titans to abandon a downfield passing attack that remains an integral part of any formula to win. But Baldinger noted that a dominant running game seemed to be harder to come by, which makes the Titans more naturally two-dimensional. A there is a serious lesson for every team in what the Titans are doing, A. Baldinger said. A. A defense can a T take away the pass and a good running game A. Tennessee, meanwhile, does not plan to alter its approach. A. Eta s the style we play, Eta s the way we rebuild, A. Art Smith the Tennessee offensive coordinator, said. As for Henry, he is simply enjoying the ride. A my goal is to finish every run, a he said after the Titan saw demolition of Baltimore. A reporter asked, a finish every run in the end zone, a. Henry smiled. A just finish it, a he answered. A wherever a.